Hello again, it's just me. This is phase one of the free cooking fuel trial. And I thought after I got this set up that I may as well show you the beginnings and the how and the why. And then I'll tell you the more of the how and the why later. This is just the beginning. This is a this is a uh, aluminum disposable pan. And in it you will see that I put one of those Reynolds wrap um, pop-ups, I think they call them. They're pre-cut sheets of aluminum foil uh, to line the pan so it doesn't get stuck to the bottom. Probably should have put some non-stick spray in there. It's three frozen solid chicken breasts. And I'm going to put this in my charcoal grill. No, I'm going to put this in my gas grill. It would work just, I have a charcoal grill. It's not accessible right now. Um, I probably am going to be doing some experiments later with the charcoal grill. If you have an older charcoal grill that you don't use, please hang on to it. Um, I would not want to use this method that I'm going to show you today and hopefully tomorrow on a newer grill. I would want an older grill. Or even if you can pick up a, I saw a small, like the Weber type grill. It's about here, about yay big around, maybe 14 inches, and it sits on a table. I saw one of those the other day. That would be interesting as well to have something like that. But an older grill would be good. Um, this is not a smoke-free flame. Therefore, I would not want to put a nice baking dish. You'd have to make some adjustments, which we'll talk about later. This is not the fuel cell I'm going to use, but this is the kind, this is similar to the one I experimented with. See how close I can get that. You will see, so this is a little buddy burner. This one is made with paraffin wax, which I've got. Let me see. Hang on just one second. I didn't see too terribly many videos about the, um, the buddy burner type thing. This is not the standard tuna fish can. This is the small one. Oh, there's a better picture now. The light changed. This is the small, um, this had chicken salad that came in it. Let's see, where's the label? Brunswick chicken salad. You pick these up. Dollar Tree, Dollar General. They're usually a buck. They come with crackers. This is the, I think cat food comes in these little tiny cans. So I took, my husband helped me take cardboard. There's more of it in there than you can actually see. It's coiled up. And then you can see clear to the bottom of the pan. It's a pretty good picture. You can see it clear to the bottom of the tin can, not pan, the can, because the paraffin wax is clear. Now, when people make buddy burners out of paraffin wax, you can also make it out of used candles, but it may smoke. You can melt old candles. You can pick them off at garage sales that may smoke. Uh, there's a reason this needs to be done in one more than, more than, more than one video because there's too many details. So the paraffin wax comes in a box like this. It's called Gulf Wax. I'm pretty sure I paid two dollars and twenty nine cents for this. It it has there's four slabs of clear paraffin wax. This should be smokeless. You can use this for crafting. This is two slabs. You can see the line down the middle. That's two slabs of wax. I used part of one slab. Here's the part I didn't use. So you can compare. This is a full slab. I used less than a half a slab for the small size can. I'm going to guess you're going to need at least a whole one of these for a standard tuna fish can if you make your buddy burner that way. There's nothing wrong with using paraffin wax. In fact, everything is right with it. This has approximately 25 to 30 cents worth of wax in it, which is not bad. I would like to have I would like to have 20 or 30 or 40 of these. Let me digress for a minute. Let me finish the topic and then I'll digress. So, because my burners are probably going to put off a little ash, the paraffin burners are going to burn pretty clean. This. This Gulf Wax paraffin burner that I made is going to have a similar concept of the free one I'm going to show you. This one is not free. This is about 30 cents. Not bad. So you can make 100 of these for about 30 bucks. 
not bad. It would be a great thing to have in your storage. I have a girlfriend who says that the tuna fish size cans, the standard tuna fish size cans of a Buddy Burner, she has cooked food for 50. I don't know if she had one or several, but she said she's cooked food for 50 people. And I think she met from raw food. Cook, actually cooked, not just warmed. So the reason I'm using a pan that's not one of my favorite ceramic pans is because my burner that I'm going to describe to you to hopefully tomorrow um, is not something I would want to put on top of my flame. The paraffin flame might be fine. You can experiment with it. It's supposed to be smokeless. I'll read more about the package later and give you a report on that. So anyway, also the second thing you're going to want to do is cover this completely with foil because if there's ash or smoke, especially if you're going to make your buddy burners with used candles, you don't want any of the smoke or the ash or anything getting into your food. So I'm going to completely cover that and seal it with foil. So it's kind of getting kind of late in the day here. We probably won't have this for dinner, but I'm going to go put it on the grill right away and uh, see how long the burners will burn for. If it's a failure and they only burn for 45 minutes, I'll tell you that we burned them for a while last night. But we were able to bring a pint of water in a small saucepan. I put one of these foil sheets under the pan to protect the pan. Um, we put two of my burners, which are in similar cans. One's in this size can and the other one is in the big tuna fish can, not the standard tuna fish can. Um, I'll go into that later. but I, So I had two burners, one like this size and one bigger than a tuna fish can last night. And we put the burn we put the burners on the lower rack of our gas propane grill. And then we put the pan on the upper rack. We have to set it back a little further than normal because as the lid comes down, it kind of moves forwards towards you. And so in order to get it to center over the flame, we put it a little bit further back of back of the center. I'm making all kinds of sense here, I can tell. So the pan was centered underneath the flame and it took about five minutes to bring the water almost to a boil. It was pretty hot. I don't know how that compares with some of the other stoves. There's all kinds of stoves that you can make that have, there are instructions for the stoves on YouTube. But again, this is, this is my introduction. I'll explain more later once I figure out if it's feasible. These paraffin wax Gulf wax burners are awesome things. I haven't timed this to see how long this one will burn. I probably will do that and report back to you at some point in time. If somebody wants to put comments below on how long your paraffin wax or candle, specify which one it was, if you used the used candle and melted it, or if you used Gulf wax, paraffin wax, how long it lasted. It would probably also be feasible to put liquid kerosene in here. You could put liquid paraffin in here. Um, I'm trying to think what else. It'll come to me later. Um, da -da 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 -da, where were we? I oh I, my burners do not use the same method. They they don't have uh, the cardboard in them. And I will give you the details on that. Like I said, if it's successful, if it burns for 45 minutes, I'm not going to consider that very successful. There's still I might still show you how because they're free. Free is good. Some of us are hard pressed financially, so free is good. Again, this is four, see how much does it weigh? One pound of paraffin wax. This is the kind of wax you put on top of, used to put on top of jams and jelly jars, Gulf wax. Um, you'll probably find it with the canning supplies in your grocery store this time of year. And I paid out of the country market, I paid $2.29. I'm trying to see where the sticker is. Probably on the end. There it is. $2.29. Never mind, you can't see it. Okay, so I'm going to cover this with foil and stick it on the grill and light my free burners and report back to you soon about what the results were on that. And I think that was all I was going to say. I hope so, because otherwise I'll have to type it out and I don't like doing that. God bless your efforts to prepare. I lost another tooth today, which was not 
much fun after I've spent a screaming fortune and a whole life trying to keep teeth in my mouth and they're gray, gray and disgusting from a medication that I'm still taking. That's 10 minutes. I'm going to stop. So pray for my teeth. <laughs> Thank you. God bless your efforts to prepare. Make a list and check it twice because you never know what you're going to forget. God bless you. Bye. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it.